Yellow Character Generator is a plugin for Daz Studio, and it can be found under Window Panes in the menu, and there's yellow down at the bottom. You click on this, it'll open up a new pane. I'm just going to go dock it on the left side here. Now the plugin requires an active connection to the yellow servers, so what you'll need to do is go click on this login button. Now the neat thing about this is that it's tied to your Daz 3D account. So you click this and you will see a dialog that should look familiar uh, if you've ever logged in from within Daz Studio. Fill it in and click login. Note that you won't see this dialog if you previously had checked the option to automatically log in. Once logged in, you will see a list of previous prompts and can generate new ones. Let's just walk through the interface really quickly before we do anything. In this top section is where you generate your prompts. So you'll go ahead and describe what you want your character to look like, set the gender, or choose neutral to leave it unspecified. Set the number of variants, you can have up to four, and then hit generate. In this middle section, you have a list of jobs. You'll see a status if you have a job that's not yet complete, where it gives you a percentage. And the completed jobs are also listed here. When you click any of these completed jobs, it will populate the localized variants section down here. So you'll be able to see all the different variants and click on them to preview them on Genesis 9. Before you begin working with the yellow plugin, make sure you have Genesis 9 loaded and selected. All right, let's start by entering a prompt. Set it to female. And let's do two variants and then hit generate. As you can see, it now got added to my job list here and it's at 0% because it's currently processing. So we'll wait for that to complete. In the meantime, I'll show you how some of my other jobs worked out. The first thing you may notice is there are different icons next to the jobs. The empty boxes are ones that haven't been downloaded yet and the solid ones have. Since I have auto localized checked, if I click on one of these jobs, then it will start downloading the files. You'll see that it says downloading right next to it to show you the status. And then once complete, it will populate the localized variants section down below. The variants have now been downloaded and loaded on its morphs, so you can click through these to preview them. Once I find a variant that I like, I can click Apply and Save. This will adjust the bones to the shape so that you'll be able to pose it, and then it'll pop a dialog so you can decide naming of the morph and where to save it. The morph has been saved and applied and is now ready to be used.